Welcome back to Meet on Monday. Right, so this is actually quite a suitable video for today because it is absolutely freezing. Um, temperatures have dropped and they're just above freezing at the moment. Um, so it's a little bit nippy. So, right, this week we're looking at a, lo well, a relatively local maid. This one comes from um, Midland, well, I think it's Midland Wineries which is about 40 miles from here in Middleham in West Yorkshire. And we're looking at, whoops, burp, Harvest Gold. Um, now, it's nothing fancy. This is probably um, one of the lowest cost meads you can actually get. It's the sort of mead you normally get if you go to, say for instance, um, a themed banquet evening like a, a medieval banquet or something like that. This is the sort of mead you'll get. Maybe not necessarily harvest gold but something of this quality. So what we're going to start off with, uh, I mean the bottle itself, it's, if I can remember rightly because I can't read the label, I believe it's about 13%. The bottle, uh, a bottle of this 70 centilitre bottle is going to cost you somewhere between 5 and £10. Um, never more than 10 usually around about the five or six pound mark um, which is about seven or eight dollars or something like that um, it, it's not bad it's not the greatest um, it's drinkable though that's the main thing so let's have a start now we're going to start off with cold out of the fridge and see if I can pour myself some without tipping it all over myself or all over the floor which would be an absolute waste some in the bottle in the glass I put the top back on so I don't knock it over because that would be sacrilegious to actually spill it all over the place right have a look how much have we got in there oh no that's not too bad a glass one so I can't really tell the colour um, but from what I can remember of the colour it's your typical sort of light honey colour. It's not a dark meat, it's a fairly light. Now the smell, it's nice, but it's a very sweet smell. This is a sweet meat. And it's got a very distinctive honey flavour. Some maids don't actually have a honey flavour, but if you, um, if you opened a jar of liquid honey to spread on your toast or whatever, or to cook with, this is a smell that that honey has. It is a proper honey smell. So it smells really, really nice. Beautiful smell. I see what it tastes like. Like I said, it is a sweet, sweet honey. In comparison to, like, say, for instance, a moniac, which isn't so sweet. And you can taste the honey as well. There's a proper honey taste. Now with a lot of means you lose that natural raw honey taste as it turns to alcohol. Some of the better ones, it's still there, but not quite as strong. This one is definitely evident. You can definitely taste pure natural honey. Which sort of suggests that the fermentation process hasn't been 100% complete. Maybe they've aimed for it to make something a little bit quicker um, and stop the fermentation process a bit a bit sooner than other manufacturers might have. It's by no way um, by no means unpleasant. It is actually a quite a pleasant taste. It's not as strong as the moniac. You don't get the hit that you do with the moniac meat. I mean, so to my mind, this would actually be quite a good beginner's mead, somebody who's never drank mead before would actually co probably find this quite pleasant. Because it doesn't taste of much else except honey. 
Now you don't get the hit of warmth that you get with the Moniac as well. Even if it's cold, you don't get that juxtaposition of cold liquid with hot flavour. Um, it's not a sharp hot flavour at all. It really is quite mellow. So even if you hold it under your tongue and let it diffuse, you don't get that bite that you get with the Moniac. So like I said, this would be a good, if you've never had mead before, this would be a good one to start with. It'll give you an appreciation of what mead should taste like. Because at the end of the day, that is what it is. It is a good, bog standard, honey mead. That's it, pure and simple. You can't say anything worse. Now the only problem I'm, I'm getting with that is when you drink the Moniac and a lot of better quality means you get a full, I can see if they say if I can describe this, the flavour, you get a full rounded flavour sensation. As in it starts at one point and goes through the sweetness and the honey and the sharpness and the heat and, the and you get a full round flavour. This is a bit flat. You get that initial build up of the honey flavour and then it sort of like drops it and then it peters off. It's almost as if there's something missing from it and again I think that's maybe because they haven't allowed the fermentation process to carry on for as long as they would have done in some of the other um, meads. And I think this is oh, it's a, it's a difficult one. Mm. There's a little bit of bitterness coming in at the end, um, which you don't get with the Moniac or, or things like that. It's a no, it starts off nice, and then there's, a, there's, there's actually quite a tart, um, a sort of almost like a puckering sensation. It, it's one of those that makes you go <coughs> sort of thing, like like a sour wine might do, um, or something like that. Something that makes your mouth pucker up a bit, but it's not unpleasant like some red wines are, um, it's got a slight acidity but not so bad that it's causing you to really suck your mouth in. Yeah, there is an acidic flavour. But again, if you concentrate on the acidic flavour, the honey notes come over the top of it as well and start to mellow it out. It's almost as if the alcohol is being toned down by the honey, whereas in some other meads, the honey gets lost a little bit in the alcohol when you get that fiery hit. Um, again, it, it's, all, it's all down to taste and what you actually like. So let's get rid of this bit. Yeah, even though that's been in the fridge for quite some time, I'm not getting that ju that com that comparison of the hot flavour with the cold liquid that you would get with a Moniac or a Chalice or something like that or a Challenger. Um, those are the ones we'll come on to. But it is pleasant. It's not unpleasant. I don't think I can ever remember having an unpleasant mead, to be honest. Even out of some of the really cheap ones. Um, Right, so, we've got this warmed up, it's been in the microwave for a minute, well actually I think it was about a minute and ten, ten, ten seconds just to get it up to, right there we go, I just went quiet there so I could concentrate on pouring it, and put that over there where I can see it so I'm not going to knock it over. We've got a pork back there. It's fine there as well. Where are we? Right there we are. I'm just going to pop that on the floor so it's, <laughs> so it's out of the way so I don't knock it over. Right, so now we've got the warm. Yeah, it's a lovely feeling in your hand. Oh, that's much better. That is much better. 
it's, it's giving you a much rounder flavour feel in your mouth now. The honey flavour's gone away a little bit and it has actually brought in a sharpness that you can feel on the side of your tongue. And it actually adds to, adds to the sensation actually, it's much nicer warm. I think this is one of those that I would recommend. If you're going to have some of this, the Harvest Gold, I would drink it warm. I wouldn't bother drinking it cold. Because the improvement on the warm over the cold is night and day, chalk and cheese. And that is a much better, it's got a completely different mouthfeel. The flavour is a lot more rounded. It's still got that little taper. It tails off a little bit towards the back end of the flavour. But it's a much rounder, much fuller flavour. You lose a little bit of the honey, but you gain in the warmth of the flavourings. You know, the heat that actually comes from the flavour itself, from the alcohol. But it's a really nice balance. Um, I'm actually quite a, a little bit more impressed with this because this is actually the first time I've tried this warm. This, where is it? This is actually an excellent mead to cook with. If you want to do honey roast ham and things like that, you can actually use this and give it a really nice flavour to it. Um, putting in uh, honey cakes, that sort of thing. Really nice for cooking with. But drinking this warm, it's changed my mind about it. I can feel this on the side of my tongue now. I can feel a little bit of heat and I can feel a little bit of heat on the back of my tongue as well which I couldn't before when it was cold. But honestly the difference is chalk and cheese between the cold and the warm. So yeah, Harvest Gold. Um, it is a, lo a lower cost meat. You can drink it cold, no, pro no problem with that and you'll enjoy it if it's your first time drinking mead. But if you're, not, if, you, if, you, if you're used to drinking mead and you like mead and if this is all you've got, try it warmed up. It makes a massive difference. I've surprised myself there. Much nicer. And you don't feel it. It's a little, it is a little bit sweet. It's a bit sweet for my normal taste. But as you drink it, when it's warmed up to you don't feel it going into your, your mouth as a liquid as it were I know that's really hard to explain but because it's at basically the same temperature as you as you drink it you don't feel it so much um, as a liquid, it's more of a, a sensation than an actual liquid. Especially if you just take a little sip of it. But there's that acidity coming back in again as it's cooling down a bit. But it's a lot more pleasant than it was when it was cold. But the, the warmth that hits the side of your tongue, much nicer. Yeah, as you're drinking warm mead, it's much more like a sensation than an actual drink. You, unless you take a big mouthful, if you just sip it, you don't actually get a sensation of a liquid entering your mouth. You get a sensation of a of, of flavour rather than liquid, um, which you don't get with most, most of the alcoholic drinks. It is more about the sensation than the actual liquid itself. Now I know that kind of sounds incredibly pretentious, but it's true and until you actually try this, you probably won't know what I mean. Um, but I've not had another drink that does this, an alcoholic drink that does the same thing. I think I've just dropped something on the floor, I don't know what. Um, mead is about the sensation rather than the liquid.
Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. So, harvest gold mead. Between five and ten pound a bowl. Most of the time, you're going to find it around about the seven pound fifty mark, if not cheaper. Um, it's available in most good supermarkets in the UK. Now, I don't know about anywhere else um, outside the UK what availability would be like. I have no idea. Um, I'm assuming that you can get it on Amazon, like you can most other things. So I'd give it a go. If you come across it and you've never drank mead before, like I said, I think this would be a good starter drink, a good mead to start with. Um, but I would recommend it warm rather than cold. Yeah, it's much better. Like I said, though, it's a little bit sweet for me. Um, but there, more, a lot of people, I think, would like this because it does have that definite honey flavour, which a lot of means lose a little bit, but they gain in other things, in other flavours, whereas this one, I think, is pure and simply just honey. I don't think there's much else in it, in terms because a lot of honeys are made with fruit juices um, and things like that. I don't think this is so much, but anyway. Right, so I hope you found that interesting. Um, stay safe, keep toasting the bees, and we'll talk again soon. Cheers, guys. Slow and sure.